What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, to the single women out there and to the single baby mothers out there, why do y'all feel like us men owe y'all something? That's a real question. Why do y'all feel like us men owe y'all something? For instance, a lot of you single baby mothers out there, y'all feel like when us men come and meet y'all, that y'all kids are a package deal. Ladies, let me get this clear to y'all right now. Your kids are in a package deal, okay? To the men out there, if a lady ever tells you, these single baby mothers out here, if they ever tell you that their kids are a package deal, Turn around and walk the hell away. Those kids aren't that man's package deal that you meet. That's their, that's your baby father's package deal. What is up with you women trying to tell us men that we need to help you out with your badass kids when those aren't our kids? Now, if there's men out there that want to do that, kudos to those men. But don't sit up here and tell me that your kids are a package deal. Period. Your kids are in a package deal. My kids are my package deal and your kids are your package deal. Just because you come into my life doesn't mean I have to take care of your badass kids. Let's make that real clear. There's too many of you women out here doing that. Y'all sitting up here choosing the wrong men to sleep with. Those men don't want to be with y'all. Those men don't want to take care of their kids. And you got the nerve to tell the next man that your kids are a package deal if he wants to be with you. Bitch, please. Respectfully. Any man that hears that a woman say that, they need to respectfully walk away. You women are some of the biggest problems and issues in society right now. And y'all don't even understand the pinnacle of what y'all have done in society and how y'all are the fault for half of the shit that's going on in society. Y'all don't want to take any accountability for anything that y'all have created. Y'all have created monsters out of... Y'all have turned men into monsters. Y'all have turned men into monsters. Y'all wonder why we don't want to marry y'all anymore. Y'all wonder why we don't have... Y'all wonder why we don't want to have babies with y'all anymore. It's y'all fault. It's y'all fault. And y'all are the main ones that are trying to break men down in society. And y'all are the main ones that are helping the system out. Y'all are literally living and y'all literally sleeping with the enemy. Y'all sleeping in bed with the government. Literally. Y'all literally sleeping in bed with the government. And half of y'all... Even if y'all do got a good baby father, y'all still could give a shit less about him. And let me tell you why. When your baby father isn't with you or your husband divorces you, the first thing y'all want to do is run down to the court system. Let me tell you why that's an issue, especially to you baby mothers out there, right? You can have these great baby fathers out there doing everything that they're supposed to do for their kids. You women somehow, some way, will still want money out of that man. Y'all want to get yourself and that man tied in bed with the government. Now, unfortunately, every baby father out there doesn't have it like that. By the grace of God, I'm fortunate to be good enough to make sure I take care of my responsibilities and, and do what I have to do for my kids. But you got some baby fathers that aren't that fortunate. Now... To those men that aren't that fortunate, you women are happy to put those men inside the system. Those men end up not being able to pay child support to you. Maybe they lost their job. Maybe they don't have that type of money, but they're not able to give you the, uh, any coin, but they're able to give their kids time. How fair is it that the government can lock that man up and put that man in jail because he can't pay your trifling ass? How real is that? Man, do you notice that anywhere women... Yo, do you notice that anywhere, for the most part, women are at or anything that women are involved in, 
for the most part. And remember, this doesn't apply to all women, but to the women that it do apply to, take it with a grain of salt. But do you notice how when women are a part of something or anywhere they're at, it's always an issue? Let's take the gym for for instance. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys recently, I've talked about it on my channel, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other guys have talked about it as well. But have you noticed how anytime these women are in the gym, they're always trying to put a man on blast and make him look like he's a creep? They put that man on blast, not knowing what kind of family that man, uh, if that man has a, a, a beautiful family, if that man has a great job, they will try to take something so minute as a man looking at them or taking a glance at them, making that man seem like a creep. And they want to put it out there to share with the world. When that man is a man, of course. And if a man looks at a woman, what is wrong with that? If you're wearing provocative clothes in the gym and a man takes a peek at you, what is wrong with that? I'm sorry, but you just got some masculine men out here. There's nothing wrong with that, ladies. Would it be okay if a gay man looked at you? Is that all y'all want looking at y'all? And let me tell y'all another thing. Y'all set the tone for a lot of shit that y'all don't even understand y'all set the tone for. A lot of these politicians that y'all keep voting in, they're the ones that are setting rules and regulations in place in your city, especially for the LGBTQ community. And like I've stated before, once they dominate y'all at y'all own shit, y'all want to get mad about it. I just seen an article yesterday how a bunch, let, yo, the system is, let, let me tell you how crazy the system is, right? And how crazy indoctrination is and how they really try to get at younger kids. There were middle schoolers and high schoolers that were walking out protesting a bathroom ban because the principal of the school wanted to make sure whatever gender you were born, you had to use that bathroom. So it couldn't be um, transgender boys going into the girls' bathroom. Why would anybody be mad about that? To you women out here that vote, to you women out here that think that type of shit is cool, right? If I go into the bathroom, right, into an all-women's bathroom and say... Today, I feel like a, a, a woman. Is it okay if I whoop my genitals out and start pissing in the woman's bathroom while y'all have y'all daughters in there? Is that okay? Is it fair game? Because it seems like this day and age, anybody can wake up and say they anything. Today, I'm a bottle of water. I'm a dollar bottle of water today. Today, I'm a pen. Today, I'm a notebook. Can I wake up and say that today I'm a woman and start walking into the woman's bathroom and whipping out my genitals and pissing in front of y'all? Or would I get arrested? And if they did arrest me, I'm sorry, if they did arrest me, would that be like, um, like, like hate towards the community that I feel like I want to be a part of that day? Like, when is this nonsense going to stop? When is this nonsense going to stop? When are you women actually going to start sticking up and saying something? When are y'all going to stop putting men through the uh, family court system? When are y'all going to stop ruining families, which is mainly part of what y'all are doing? Y'all started this shit. Us men, we're just finishing it. That's all we're doing. For the most part, you women have started this war. Y'all too damn devious all the time. It started with Adam and Eve. If Eve ass would have never bit the goddamn apple, we wouldn't be in some of the predicaments we in now. Remember, women, y'all came from us. Y'all came from our rib. Damn women, man. You cannot win with them. You can't. And like I stated, y'all help vote certain policies. Yo, do y'all know that 57 to 60% of women is why Joe Biden is in office right now? Does anybody know that? Does anybody know that? 
Men, we knew what time it was. We knew we wasn't messing with Joe Biden. And we don't give a, we didn't give a damn how racist y'all said Trump was. Us men knew that when Trump was in office, our pockets was looking good. Our pockets was looking good. Oh, but now nah, you women want to vote for Joe Biden because y'all want him to cancel the student loan debt that y'all put yourselves in. Oh, no, you women want to vote for Joe Biden because he's willing to give y'all all the food stamps that y'all want. Oh, no, you women are wait. Y'all want to vote for Joe Biden because he's going to help y'all with housing. That's the problem with you women. Y'all always look for handouts. Us men don't. We get it from the mud. We get it from the ground. We don't look for handouts like y'all. Can't no woman sit up here right now and tell me that they don't look for handouts. Women look for handouts more than men. If it wasn't true, y'all wouldn't be going for child support or spousal support when y'all break up with a guy or get divorced from a guy. Y'all look for handouts. We don't. We don't. And I'm just here to tell y'all that y'all need to stop doing some of the crap that y'all doing. And that's why a lot of y'all are going to continue to sit around with your cat food and box wine year after year after year. Because y'all can't get it through y'all thick skull. Y'all can't get it through y'all thick skull what y'all doing. Y'all can't get it. Y'all breaking up the modern home. Y'all breaking up the modern families. It ain't us men. Don't try to blame us for what y'all started. We just catching on and knowing we're catching on to the game and knowing what y'all doing now. That's all it is. And like I stated, you have these women out here that say, hey, M-A-B-W, how can you talk about marriage when you've never been married before? I tell you women all the time because I see what men go through who have been married, how their, how their pockets get taken away from them in court. They will say to the other young men, why do y'all talk about what not wanting to have babies? Uh, because those young men can watch what us men talk about and what we've been through. And how even if you're a good father, you can still get drugged in the child support court system and get your pockets taken away from you. Because these women want to be so greedy all the time. And they don't know when to stop. But they so independent, right? Ladies, don't tell me y'all independent. A good 70% of y'all not independent at all. Y'all not independent at all. Stop screaming that. Stop screaming that. Y'all not. To my guys out there, keep doing what y'all doing, man. Keep doing what y'all doing. I'm just here to give my little bit of advice, and I hope it can tap into some of y'all heads and let y'all know what's really going on out here. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all men out there already know what's going on. And we just going to keep bringing it to these men and making sure that these women know what we know what y'all doing. And we're not stupid as y'all think we are, okay? Men are waking up and y'all have a problem with that. And that's the issue right now with you women. Y'all see that men are waking up and y'all got a problem with that. We going to keep holding strong. We going to keep grinding MABW team. I promise you. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.